Moving means moving odd numbers. We have some raw data. Uh, you can see we've got week number here and hours, and we're just going to plot those in all the usual ways. Uh, but when you choose your plot type, choose the line graph option. Uh, we have here a clear seasonality. There's regular peaks. There's also regular troughs. And you can obviously see there's also a downward trend. And the idea of smoothing is to remove the seasonality and just see the downward trend. Okay, we're going to start with three mean smoothing. Odd numbers are great because like with the number three, what's the middle number? The middle number is two. So we're exactly on the number two. So we don't have anything in the number one position. So we're going to lose some data here. We're going to have fewer data points when we finish this process. And if you take the average of those first three numbers, 56, 45, 36, uh, add them up, divide by three, you get 45.7, which is our first data point. OK, this is called moving mean because we now just moved everything down. Before, we were looking at 1, 2, 3. And now we're looking at 2, 3, 4. And so if you look at the center of 2, 3, 4, that is 3. And the number we get is this 41.3. That's our next number. And we're just going to keep doing that process, moving down the data. 3, 4, 5, that's centered on 4. Add up the three numbers, divide by 3, you get 43. And through the magic of editing, we've got all our data points now. But just to remind you, this is a lossy process. We've lost a data point here, and we've lost a data point here. So we've only got 12 data points to plot, not 14. But hopefully those data points are now smoother. Now you may be wondering, do I have to do all of this manually? And of course, the answer is no. OK, so we want to remember start uh, with our data here, because we've lost a cell. And you can see we've put in a formula here, which is the mean brackets B1 to B3, because the data we're smoothing is starting in cell B1 and going all the way through B2 into B3. So you can just do a colon between them, and that will average it all out. Then you have to choose the fill option and fill all that down. And that will then easily do the calculation for you. Uh, it's doing exact values for me, which is why it keeps doing that slash three, because that's what you do when you take a mean of three numbers. And then if you graph it, uh, you can see this graph on the right here. It's a bit smoother. So the, the peaks um, are all very high compared to the peaks we have uh, here. So we've done some smoothing here. So it has done its job. But wait, there's more. You could do five mean smoothing, but this time, uh, you're taking the first five numbers, and so this is more smoother, but more lossy. So we don't have a number here or here. We lose the first two because the middle of five numbers is the third number. And you take all the numbers, add them up, and divide by five, and you get your data points. And you just do the same process as you did before. Again, through the magic of editing, we've now got our full data set. Notice we've lost one, two, three, four data points this time, because the more you're smooth, the more you lose. We're now down to 10 data points. Our formula this time, if we're going to be doing this uh, on the CAS, is the mean still, but it's now going to be B1 to B5. And that's our formula. But wait, I hear you say, what about seven mean smoothing? You can keep smoothing, but you'll keep losing data. So we're losing more data points here because we got one, two, three missing because we're starting at four because the middle number of seven is four. So here's all the data done. We've lost one, two, three at the beginning, and one, two, three at the end. We're down to eight. So you can see we've done a lot of smoothing and losing. And our formula is that the mean is B1 to B7. And here's a comparison of all our smooth graphs. We've gone uh, three to five to seven. And you can see the lines are getting shorter and they're looking a lot smoother.